Once upon a time in the projects. The day that new truckloads come to the junkyard, I gotta go get down there early for the homeless to take everything. Those people are greedy. Thurgood, try not to go crazy today. We have enough junk already. Hey, if I had that attitude, I never would have found your 20th anniversary gift. Come on, Soup. Let's go. Hey, it's my little junkies. Y'all ready to go score some junk? Yep, I got the rat bat. And I got the snake rake. All right, then a dumping we will go. Hey, look what I found! Is this good? Juicy, I said junk, not crap. Hey, Calvin, put those books down. If somebody threw them out, they're not worth reading. Hey, look! I'm a ninja! Juicy, put those down before you get locked, y'all. On second thought, knock yourself out. Hey, Juicy! Look at this! When they make a cool go-kart? Uh-uh. I'll sit where I eat. Now you boys know better than to play in that abandoned refrigerator. It's dangerous. Play in this abandoned water heater. Yeah, now this is a go-kart here. Ooh. Just line it with asbestos, strap on some aerosol cans on the back, light them up, you got yourself a Batmobile. Boy, she's a beaut, ain't she? Driver's side trash bag, rope and pinion steering. A really cool stickers. Hey, Super, what we got neighbor? I know. How about LeBaron? Or Tercel? No, no, no. You don't go giving cars people names. You gotta give it a name that says class. That, that says something about... about you. <laughs> okay, now, before you kids can ride in this, we gotta make sure it's safe for people. Okay, Smokey, you up? <laughs> I'm a crack test dummy. That's crash test dummy, dummy. Uh, uh, okay, uh, but let's hurry before my right stuff way off. All right. Are you ready, Smokey? Uh, ready. Uh, are we gonna do this or what? Ma, she's here! She's magnifico, Thurgood. Yeah, she's beautiful. Aww. Maybe you could make something out of a hot water heater for us. Sure, what would you like? A hot water heater? <laughs> Super, can we take it out now? <laughs> can we? Yeah, I want to ride it while it still has that new cart smell. Okay, but remember, if you take care of that go-kart, it'll last you a long time. You see this chain? Once it was an instrument of oppression to keep our people down. But we can use it to keep those same people from stealing your go-kart. Yeah! Hmm. Here's my license and registration, sir. Get out of the car! Calvin, what are you boys doing? We're playing LAPD, Super. You want to play? Yeah, you could tape and violate my constitutional rights. <laughs> no, no, you boys have fun. But remember, it's getting near dinner. Don't forget to lock her up. We, we won't! won't. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. Why aren't you using the new junkyard microwave I brought you? Thurgood, it doesn't have a door. Well, that don't stop you from using the bathroom. Look at them. I can't believe those boys. Now, how many times I tell them to lock up their go-kart? Well, I teach them to take care of what they got. Now, how can the boys leave a beautiful vehicle like this unprotected? You know, I think this go-kart needs to be stolen by someone. And like most crimes, I fit the description. 
Hey, this is kind of fun. Ah! Woo! That was great. Man, that was sweet. All right, that's enough. I got to go to work. All right, here we go. Better put on my goggles. Got it. Ah! I better lose some balance. Oh, that's not good. Better pull the emergency brake. Hey, there's a naked lady in 3B. 3B? That's Mrs. Avery! What makes me do these stupid things? Look at the boy's go-kart. I'm lucky to be alive. Look at the boy's go-kart. I wish I was dead. Well, it was an accident. I'm sure God will forgive me for destroying it. I just hope he can forgive me for burying the evidence. There, the perfect crime and not one speck of evidence to connect me to it. Um, who would have thought that burying a 50-foot ramp would take all night? Ooh. Now if I can just stay cool and calm and collected, I'll be on Easy Street. Super! Super! They stole it! They stole my go-kart! <laughs> What's the matter, Super? I'm, uh, uh, uh just, just sickened by the thought of somebody taking a little boy's go-kart. Me too! I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Tenants meeting in five minutes! Tell him, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Someone must have seen something. You don't really think so, do you? I mean, this is the project. No one ever sees anything. <laughs> well, I'm going to find out for myself. Tenants meeting. <laughs> First is stolen go-karts. What's next? Some brute breaking in and trying to have his way with me? I can see it now. Sure, I tried to resist it first, but nothing can stop his filthy love. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm cooking his breakfast, and I'm too young to settle down. With all due respect, Mrs. Avery. No blah, blah, blah! Now, a crime's been committed. The crime of Grand Theft Go-Kart. I think Super... What? 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 I think Super should head up the investigation. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, why, it'd be an honor. And I won't rest until every lead is completely exhausted. Sanchez, did you see anything last night? No. Well, that's that. The case closed. I'll get your card for ya. <coughs> oh, 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 excuse me. I had a Trisket in my crawl. You all know Mr. Burkett. I asked him to come help us with the investigation. As a parole officer who eats, drinks, and at every opportunity sleeps with crime, I'll help you any way I can. You got any leads? Well... I've done a profile on our thief. I'm pretty sure the perp is black. I knew it! And between the ages of 9 and 90. Woo! That clears me! All right, this crime scene is hot. Nobody touched anything. These are all clues. Aha! Uh -huh. It appears our suspect left a smashed up 40 bottle. Oh, come on now, that's ridiculous. Isn't that your brand, Mr. Sanchez? I... Yeah, Sanchez, answer him. I might have known. Let's stone it. Hey. Now, now, Mrs. Avery, we not the police. We have to give him due process. Go on, explain yourself, cartnapper. Okay, so I drink it. Jimmy drinks it too. Ow! Will someone please take them rocks from Mrs. Avery? <laughs> no, no, I'm bad, Judge. Let me do the talking. Smokey, did you see anything suspicious last night? Mm, no, uh, but I did hear something, uh, a rattling noise. Now, at first, I thought it was Deshaun's tubercular death rattle, but I looked over and he was the picture of health. 
This is crazy. Why are we listening to him? I know what I heard. And uh, me and my team of investigators are going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, just call me Barnaby Jones. Come on, TJ. Uh, hooker. I think we should do what the police do. Conduct a door-to-door -door search. Good idea. We'll find the guilty party even if we have to plant the evidence ourselves. But I want to find the real guilty party. Do you want to follow police procedure or not? Last night, about uh, 8.15, I heard an ungodly howl, like the hounds of hell. Then I heard something that frightened me. Can you describe it? Well... Uh... <laughs> That's it? <gasps> That's the sound! Uh, ouchie wouchie. Well, I heard the crash of some garbage cans, so I looked out my window and saw this fat... Ugly excuse for I was there on official business. Uh, a possum had gotten into the garbage and I had to pick it all up. And what time was that, Miss Avery? Well, now, I just finished my five o'clock bowel movement. So I say it was between 8.10 and 8.15. I'm very regular. I pride myself on that. Miss Avery, you are a sweet talker. So, Thurgood, you were out there at 8.15. That's about the same time Haiti lady heard that howl. You know what that means? It means you... No! Just missed the perk. Yes! Are you sure you didn't see anything, Super? Because it seems kind of weird that... Um, who wants some ice cream? Yeah, let's get some ice cream. Let's look at the evidence. <laughs> I know this is telling me something. Oh, uh, you crazy. This isn't saying who did it. <laughs> uh, what the... All right, trap's closing, third good. There's only two things you can do, confess the truth or pin the blame on somebody else. This is the hardest decision I ever had to make. Who should I pin the blame on? I need to find the perfect scapegoat. Now, who's the most believable? The Canadians? Why would the Canadians want to steal my go-kart? What are you so surprised about? Don't you remember the Alamo? I don't know. Look, I was just as shocked as you, but it's all spelled out here in this incriminating note. I found right here in the courtyard, earlier, and, and uh, I forgot to tell you. Thief's to-do list. One, sneak into lay projects. Two, steal Calvin's go-kart. Three, return to Canada. Four, buy eggs for Muriel. Uh, 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 must be some kind of code. Or not. Well, either way, it's obviously an outside job. That's exactly what someone would like you to think. And that someone is... Uh, now, Walter, uh, before you say anything, Juicy Hudson. Huh? Me? I didn't do anything. Then how do you explain that the note was written on your stationery? Well, Alden? Yeah, he didn't. Is this true, Juicy? Is that your stationery? Uh, well, I was... Uh, I... But you're my best friend. We're like brothers. We've seen each other's dinks. Oh. Oh. I am such a horse's dink. I can't believe him. So guilty he can't even look me in the eye. Ah, uh, Calvin. How can he look at me? All right, Calvin. We'll take it from here. Okay, Thurgood, it's up to us to sweat a confession out of the bar. Now, there's a sensitive spot on the human throat that we refer to as the truth center. And when pressure is applied... Walter! Okay, okay. Then I'm left with only one choice. I didn't want to do this, but... Oh, what are you going to do with that? I'm going to eat it until you confess. But, but I told you, I didn't steal a gold card. And I don't know anything about that note. Mmm! Mmm! You monster! Stop it, Walter! That's enough! Mmm! Be nutty good. You know I can keep this up all night. It's movie size. <laughs> okay! Okay, I did it! It's my fault! No, it's not! I took the gold card for a spin after dinner, and I forgot to lock it up. But I didn't steal it! I swear! Oh, oh Juicy, no. 
And this little piggy goes to Juve. Don't you, little piggy? <laughs> See what I did this time, Calvin? The steering wheel pops off, so we don't have to cut Juicy out again. That's great. Except Juicy ain't setting his fat foot in this go-kart. Let him use the one he stole. Now, Calvin, he never said that he stole it. Well, if he lied about taking it in the first place, how do we know he's not lying now? Uh, Calvin, lying's not always that bad, you know, like... Like when the time my mom told me that my uncle who raised me was really my father. She was just trying to spare my feelings. If only Juicy had told me the truth, I might be able to forgive him. How can someone work side by side with you, look you right in the face, and just lie? I have no idea. Look, I know you're mad at Juicy now, but you two got all the time in the world to patch things up. Oh, Thurgood, you're just in time to say goodbye to Juicy forever. What? He's going off to military school. They're gonna shave his head, call him maggot, and make him do push-ups in the mud. Why does everything happen to me? Hi, huh, Calvin. I guess you heard I'm gonna be a maggot. My dad said to be a way to build character and be a model of discipline like him. You see? Your mother made you two dozen cookies to take with you. A dozen cookies. Oh, Lord. We'll send you some. So anyway... I'm sorry about what happened. I want to give you something. My son. They're afraid I might hang myself with it. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta come clean. Well, folks, everybody, I got something to say. Everybody quiet down. Third good's gonna say something stupid and I wanna hit. Yeah, thanks a lot, BB. Sit your ass down. All right, now listen up. It's about the go-kart. At go-kart, I remind you that I built for two underprivileged boys, giving selfishly of my time, as I am wont to do from time to time. For I believe that the children are our future. Don't <laughs> say another word. I and my crack team of investigators have at long last solved the case of the bull-guarded go-kart. Please! Smoke it! I was just gonna... Please! All right? Now only be semi-lucid for a short period of time. It was two nights ago. I was closing up shop. Excuse me, we closed. That was when I heard the mysterious rattle. What was it? My go-kart? Tell me! Maybe you should ask them! Okay, okay. BB and I went out walking. We saw the go-kart. We couldn't resist. We would just try someplace different. You know, to spice it up. Okay, so we loosened a couple of nuts. But we didn't take the go-kart. It was still there when we left. Oh, oh, Baby, how could you do that? I'm double jointed. But that doesn't explain why the go-kart is missing. Well, maybe Haiti Lady can. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Starbucks. Ice chai latte, anyone? Not so fast, Haiti Lady. If that is your real name. Of course, that's not my real name. I tell you people every day, it's Garcelle. Ah, uh -huh. I see you changed your name. Care to change your story? Okay, okay, I took the go-kart, but only to hell and back. So the rattling was the bones of the eternally damned? Possibly. What do you think, Mrs. Avery? <laughs> of course you can't talk. Because you're Mrs. Avery, old lady, didn't you ever? I don't wear dinkies. I don't know what you're talking about. What? All right, you got me. But I ain't going down alone. I'm taking others with me. And there were plenty of others. How could you? You were in charge of the investigation. I know, and I'm happy to announce we're this close to cracking it. 
but you did it! Now, now, we, we all put the go-kart right back where we found it. Nobody got hurt. You people should be ashamed. Uh, wait, and there is another. Yes, yes there, there is. is. Muriel? It was such a lovely night for a drive, I just took it for an itsy little spin. <laughs> I may have snapped the McPherson struts, but the differential was shot when I found it. Ut uh, too, Muriel. Ut uh, too. I can't believe you people. Your selfishness has cost everyone a go-kart. Your recklessness almost cost me my life going over a 50-foot jump, and your carelessness destroyed the friendship of two boys. 50-foot jump? What 50-foot jump? <laughs> Looks like we all took it. Isn't that something? <laughs> Hey, I thought we took all your stones away from you, Mrs. Avery. I can pass them as quick as you can take them. I can't believe it was you, Super. I know, I know, and I'm sorry, Calvin. You too, Juicy. I lied and that was wrong. But there's one thing you gotta understand. I didn't think I was gonna get caught. You all hear me, right? Yeah. 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 We didn't think we'd get caught either. <laughs> yeah, that. You boys understand when you get old, there's something that comes with maturity. True that. True that. Hey, who wants to ride in the new go-kart? I got shotgun! No! I got shotgun! I know I mean. Juicy, I'm sorry I accused you of stealing the go-kart. Can you ever forgive me? Already have. I'm just glad I don't have to be a maggot. Man, grown-ups! Promise me we'll never get old. Well, the statistics are in our favor. 